What's going on my peeps? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now I'm surprising you this week. I didn't tell any of you that I was doing this. But it is the week of Thanksgiving, so I gotta do something Thanksgiving related. We'll have the normal BuzzFeed test on Friday as well, but you get two this week. I'm gonna be trying out the pie cones, which have been suggested a couple times by you guys. And they look relatively simple, especially because I've done the pizza cones in the past, and those came out great. So let's give these a try. Now first of all, in the video, they used some store-bought pre-made dough. We ain't doing that. I'm gonna go back to the Katy Perry cherry pie video, because that crust was bomb, and completely from scratch, remake that. A ton of flour sifted out, a ton of butter cubed up, Work that into each other until you start to feel like you got arthritis in your fingers and then add some ice water. I have now learned that the ice water is to keep the butter cold so it bakes when it's still solid and makes a nice flaky texture. I'll put the original cherry pie recipe in the description of this if you want to see this whole detailed recipe. But I just uh, basically doubled this so I got four pie crusts and threw them all in the fridge for about 40 minutes. Afterwards, I just popped them out of the fridge and tried to roll them out a bit like I would for a normal pie crust. This does take a little bit of extra care, but I eventually got to here and cut it into quarters. Now I just grabbed these aluminum foil cones that I made a little bit earlier and tried to wrap the dough around them. No exaggeration, I tried to get this first one wrapped around the cone for like 10 minutes. Nothing that I tried made it want to stay on there so I could attempt to start crimping it. So... Already off to a fantastic start. What I actually ended up doing was cutting these down to size a little bit because I thought maybe they were a bit too big for the cones that I formed. Uh, and they seemed to work a little bit better, but now we got to the crimping stage where Literally, even if you lightly press down a fork, it's just making holes in the top dough. There is no mending of the crease happening here. But I spend the next 30 to 40 minutes just trying to salvage some of this dough. I popped all of the cones onto a cookie sheet and cooked them at a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes. And what do you know, half of them melted right off the cone. This is just going swimmingly so far. Now the ones that weren't half melted, I tried to very carefully remove the foil from the inside and they're so goddamn fragile. Now I already know all your comments are gonna be, he's not trying as hard as he used to, he's turning into Rob and not giving it his full effort and doing it like he used to and doing real recipes properly. <sighs> okay. Now that my blood pressure is through the roof, I tried to grab a bread pan and use some of the foil to kind of hold up the cones in place. And I think I got a couple of them in here when... Oh. My God. Okay. Any chance of these working out whatsoever has completely disappeared. No, honestly, I was already like two, two and a half hours into this recipe when I said I needed to take a damn break from the crust, so I started to work on the filling. I grabbed a couple of green apples and diced them up. You only need about a cup according to the recipe of these. So in a large bowl, I tossed in a cup of my diced up apples, which definitely does not seem like enough. A quarter cup of sugar, some cinnamon and cornstarch, and then a, a, a quarter cup of water. You can all just take random guesses as to how I was feeling right at this point. What kind of asshole would add a quarter cup of water to a few chopped up apples for a pie filling? What a stupid Are you, are you making apple soup? Huh? Have you ever made a, a pie before? Like, who dumps water into your apple? I'm gonna try to salvage all these apples by draining out all this unnecessary water and adding a little bit more of pretty much everything. I mix it up a bit and set it off to the side while I try to prepare the second of the pie fillings, the blueberry. So a cup of blueberries, three tablespoons of cornstarch, some cinnamon, a little bit of salt and lemon, and why is there so much cornstarch? 
They look like mini powdered donuts. Like, what is going on with this recipe? Is this a troll? You know what? I'm done. I'm so done. I have no patience left for this. Everything I've tried in this recipe has gone completely and utterly wrong. So I will tell you all what I'm gonna do. I grabbed a cupcake tray, I sprayed it with a little bit of cooking oil, rolled out another one of my four pie crusts that I prepared for nothing, apparently, cut out some big circles, pressed it down into each of the cupcake molds, and I'm gonna make little apple and blueberry cups. This is where this video has gone. I poked holes in the bottom so no air got trapped underneath these and I filled half of them up with the apples and the other six with some blueberries. This video has gone completely off the rails. I don't know where it's gonna end up. But I baked them for a little bit and they shrunk down so now they're tarts. I tried to make these look slightly classy with some <laughs> ice cream and some inverted whipped cream. Yes, that is chocolate whipped cream. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore, so let's just try this. What even is this? I mean, I guess it looks nice, um, considering where we were initially going for, though, not even close. Let me get some of this apple one, some of the vanilla. What am I even testing at this point? Obviously, I made my own pie crust. Um, I changed around the apples and everything. I don't know. It's good though. Let's try the blueberry one now. What is this, like a tart at this point? I don't mind it. If any of you out there have ever successfully attempted these pie cones or ever try it in the future and it comes out good, please send me a picture because I don't believe that that actually works. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a big like for me. Have a happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. And I will see you right back here on Friday.